Praise the Lord. God bless you. My name is Evangelist Valerie Miller Simpson. Praise God. I just want to talk a little today. Amen. How many of you have went through some really, really trying, difficult times? I'm talking about losing everything. I mean, you might have lost your house and, and you did everything you could to try to make the mortgage, but things just didn't go the way you wanted them to go. And you lost your car. They came in and pounded your car. And, and then maybe you even lost your husband or or maybe you had a boyfriend or girlfriend and they just got up and left and you were dating for five years and you thought you was going to get married, but it just didn't happen the way you thought it was going to happen. You know, and sometimes in life that you don't always get the things that you want to have, praise God, it don't always work because, but the Bible says all things work together for good. Well, I want to come to you a story, praise God, in the book of John. It talks about Mary, how Mary had lost her brother. Her brother's name was Lazarus. And she was so disappointed because she believed that if she stayed around Jesus, Jesus stayed around, that Jesus would have healed her brother. He said, Jesus, if you would have stayed around, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. Amen. But even now, whatever you ask the Father, he'll give it to you. How many of you are believing God for some of the things, but you believe believing God in the wrong mode? Praise God. The word of God says for us to believe God in the now. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when we when you're dealing with faith, you're dealing with faith in the now. We are people of now, praise God. God is not the God of the dead, but he's the God of the living, praise God. He said, I've come that you may have life and have it that more abundantly. Praise God, you have abundant life when? You have it now, praise God. When you have peace, you have it now. Joy, you have it now, praise God. Sufficient in today is the evil thereof. A lot of times we're so busy... Uh, uh, remnants and thinking about what happened in last year, 2018, 2019, um, and in and, and 2017, praise God, but God is doing something different. He's praise God. He's doing something right now in a different way. Praise God. He, she, he tried to bring encouragement to Mary and let Mary know that your brother shall live again. He shall rise. Praise God. He said, I know that he's going to rise in the resurrection, but Jesus had to clarify something that he let him know that I am the resurrection and I am the life. Praise God. Even though he was dead, yet shall you live yet shall he live so are you listening to what jesus is saying he's saying no matter what you're going through praise god god is able to resurrect praise god your dreams he's able to resurrect your visions praise god those visions that you've been holding on for years and 20 years and 10 years and 15 years praise god and thinking that those things are not going to come to pass praise god but God is able to resurrect even the motivation to keep on believing, praise God, to keep on believing, keep on believing in your vision, believing in yourself, having confidence in yourself and having confidence in your God, that God is able to turn those things around for you. Praise God. They're not dead and they're not they're not hopeless, praise God, as it appears, praise God. He says, and Jesus even told Mary, behold, Lazarus is just sleeping. Your dream might just be sleeping, praise God. But God is able to wake that thing up in, in the due season that it needs to be woken up, praise God, so you can fulfill the purpose that you have in your life for the kingdom of God's sake. 